YouTube and welcome to my channel Jules Craft Room and this is another sewing vlog so uh, sewing and stitching vlog um, episode 8 and it's a very wet and dull Saturday morning but I've had some mail and I thought I'd share it with you so the first package is um, something I ordered from the Cool Crafting Company um, which specializes in lunar stuff lunar looping so um, what I ordered was um, I'd seen on uh, Claire who makes things that she'd um, made the um, sleeping bag for Luna and um, I went on to the cool crafting um, website and I managed to get the kit so I'm really chuffed with that look at that so um, I believe um, it even comes with all with um, instructions to do the bunting as well. I hope so. I'm going to look in there and see what the book says. So, yes. So it's got uh, the sleeping bag, um, the bunting, and also the. Um, base sleep mask so and um, that's the, the pattern there so um, I'll have to trace that out so that's good so it comes with all the um, fabric and notions that you'll need so um, this must be the sort of wadding for the sleeping bag and then I chose this lovely um, sort of flowery pink flowery fabric to do the sleeping bag in and I thought once I've got the um, pattern obviously I can make more um, for um, my grandkids to have with their dogs and this is the notion so you've got the little lace bit and the other lace and the um, press studs and so that's good that they give just in case you didn't have those colours so that's handy that um, kit was £15 and that includes um, the wadding and the fabric and the pattern so um, I thought that was rather good and it means that in future I'll have enough to make make more of them so that was the, um, the sleeping bag kit I then I uh, already have the patterns for um, Clementine and Luna in the book that I got the um, the Luna Lapin of Friends so this is Clementine here and you can do her in this colour or a grey colour and I chose to do her in the grey so I order just the grey and it comes with a bit of white to go for the tummy um, so that I can make a um, grey cat so um because i have the pattern already in here so um yeah so that's what i plan to do i think um yes that's her there you see and she has the white tummy and just a bit of color I, i'm sure i've got a little scrap that i can use to put around the ears but yeah so i'm going to make clementine um to go with my luna and i also thought i would make I can't remember now what I chose this for. Maybe this was to make um, Wilhelmina, so uh, the mouse. So I think I ordered this to make Wilhelmina. Um, so, and they were, this was £4.50 and um, the felt for Clementine was £5.50 um, because I've already got the pattern so I just needed the felt. So yes, I'm going to make a blush Wilhelmina mouse and a smoky grey Clementine the cat. So that's the plan. So I look forward to doing that. And then the other um, thing that came in the post today was a spotty bag. And that is um, the dandelion um, from Dandelion Designs 
Um, I don't know what, and this must be, ooh, so, wow. So this is the um, E and the F. So, uh, hopefully everyone will have received this by the time they watch this video. So, um, yeah, so that's the E. And that is for embroidery. And it's showing an embroidery hoop. And then D, I mean F, is for the fat quarters. It's showing a bundle of fat quarters. So I look forward to doing that. And it's um, you've got all the, the, different, the fabrics to do it. You have to use your own wadding. And that's um, a monthly subscription for that. Oh, and we've got a bag of sweets. So I've got a chewy thing and um, a couple of chocolate milk chocolate eclairs. So they look lovely. I'll enjoy that. And then also we're getting something else with it. And it doesn't really say a lot here. But you are getting this little kit, embroidery kit, and there's a hoop, there's the hoop. And it is a bee happy. I love bees. So it's bee happy. And that looks beautiful. And um, it's got all the fabrics in there. And um, threads. So I'm so looking forward to doing that. I might start that straight away. Um, because that looks, looks great fun. So yes, I'm looking forward to doing that. And hopefully it will show us the techniques to... Um, that's a lovely treat that is to be put in as well. So, uh, tells you the stitches to do. Also, it shows you the different stitches, which is handy because uh, I don't know all those. I only know blanket stitch and um, running stitch, so that will be handy gives you close off of how to do the bees and the butterflies so yes I'm looking forward to doing that so yeah that's a that's a lovely treat to, to have in there brightens up my dull Saturday morning doesn't it okay well I'll catch you in the next part of the video when uh, maybe I'll have made something so uh, maybe see you tomorrow Right, good morning. It's Wednesday and I've been busy. I decided to um, do the sleeping bag, the, the Luna Looping sleeping bag and the bits and pieces and it went really well. Um, I'll show you. This is the pattern. I didn't actually trace it because um, it didn't have anything else on it so I just cut it out as it was. That is the pattern and you cut um, on the fold and then you slide the um, wadding inside um, and then uh, I'll show you how it turned out. All the poppers on it. Yeah, so you slide the wadding inside and then you do um, these lines down here of, I think I did about, I think it was 3.5, the length of the stitch. And then um, with this lovely, uh, edging see this bias binding i'll show you it opens up like that and you put that over it and then that gives you that lovely edge so um yeah so you can see that i edged it and then um the poppers they gave you I decided, um, I think it showed using six in the picture, but I used all seven. And um, there you are. So it looks lovely, doesn't it? And of course I've got the pattern so that I can um, make more for um, my granddaughters. Because uh, one of them's already, I've given her a, um, a Luna and in a dress um for her birthday her second birthday and the other granddaughter's coming up for two so i'm going to make her one so yes i can make them a bed as well and the four-year-old i want to make her a set for christmas um but uh yes so um let's see 
Luna, here's Luna. And here is a little mask. And I had enough of this. I think they gave you enough to use with the bunting. But I decided to use ribbon with the bunting and save save this for future masks because I can get another two masks out of this. So uh, that's what I've done. And uh, so that is that goes over her head. I had to cut a bit off the elastic to make it nice and tight around the face and that's her there. So that's her asleep with a sleep mask. And then um, let's put her in here. And there she is. So I didn't, they suggested um, doubling up on the wadding for a pillow here to make it more puffier. But what I thought I'd do, actually that's what I thought I'd do. I wasn't going to save it for the masks. I thought I'd edge a pillow. So I was going to make um, a pillow out of the scraps of fabric that I had. And a little square pillow, which I was going to put some, um, just some stuffing in. So plump it up. And I was going to make her a separate pillow. So uh, that's the plan to do with that. So I'm going to do that this afternoon, make her a separate pillow. And um, this is the bunting. So there, little bunting. And I put that ribbon, normal ribbon on that. So yeah, so they look cute. So I'm well chuffed with those. So, um, yes, I'm really pleased with that. That went well. And, um, yeah, so I'm, this afternoon I'm going to um, have a go at making a pillow for her. And I did wonder whether, um, with a bit of elastic I've got, I wondered about whether I could roll this up like that and make like a scrunchie and then out of the same material and then put it round here to store it like that when she's not when she's going somewhere so um yeah so that's the plan i'm gonna make a scrunchie to put round it to store it so when the grandkids aren't using it they can roll it up but um yeah really pleased with that so that's right so i'll probably be back later and uh, show you the cushion i've made but uh, see you in a bit. Right, hello again. Right, I just thought I'd show you the little cushion. So it was um, about four inches by, mm, what did I do? That's four by five and a half inches I did, um, oblong. Um, cut two pieces, then I put the spare um, lace I had in between, and then I stuffed it with just a bit of, um, toy stuffing you know I have an old cushion and um, that's the cushion for her sleeping bag um, I have put a bit of velcro on here I hand sewed a bit of velcro on here and I've hand sewn I've machined some velcro on here and then um, that fits on there like that and then she's got a little cushion so um, let's straighten it up a bit put Luna in there so yeah there she is and uh, she's got a little pull up pillow that velcros on there so um, I'm pleased with that so yeah and the grandkids can take that off and put it back on again. But yeah, so she's got a matching little cushion. And uh, yeah, just use the uh, leftover trim. And that I thought that went really well. Something to add to her. Okay, right, see you in the next bit. Right, good morning, it's Friday now. Um, the uh, 20... 27th of August and I just sort of sh I thought I'd show you um, what I've done so far what I've been up to um, started on the Mandy Shore um, blocks for our quilt and um, this was E 
there and as you can see this is what I've done I decided to put a bit of um, fabric in where the heart was uh, rather than leaving it plain I thought that um, sort of personalize it a bit and now I've got all the uh, red work stitching to do now but I've done the um, applique and uh, the same with F um, you can see they just use fabric for the F and um, I've done part of the bow I've done down here a bit of fabric um, I might when I stitch this bit I might um, fill it in so it looks more like ribbon but I've uh, that's what I've done with the applique there and I've backed it so it's ready for stitching so um, I can then take it in and sit in a comfy chair in another room and do that so um, that's what I've done with that and then um, I ordered some some more stuff from um, I think I told you when I ordered the cool crafting Luna's sleeping bag um, I also ordered some fabric uh, some felt to make um, a clementine and a Wilhelmina well I've cut out see I've cut all the pieces out there cut all the pieces out for Wilhelmina and I did what um, Claire who makes things suggested I printed instead of tracing which I've always done before tracing from the book which I've got the um, this book here instead of tracing out of that I just photocopied the, the patterns and then cut it out so that was so much easier <laughs> So that was quicker. So I've cut out Wilhelmina and I've also cut out Clementine. So that's all cut out. Um, the plan was to do uh, Clementine is going to be um, for my uh, oldest granddaughter who's four. And um, the mouse I was going to give to one of my two-year-old granddaughters. But her dad said that she'd prefer um, Luna. So I'm going to make another Luna and I'll just have this one to play at my house um, at the moment. So yes, I need to get some more um, fabric to, to do Luna or I might give her as her birthday is coming up in a month's time. If I don't get time, um, I'll give her my Luna and then I'll make another one for me. But um, also I wanted to make an outfit for the Luna that I'm going to make her. So I found this fabric in my in my stash, this little pretty ditzy flower fabric. And I'm gonna I've cut out, I'm gonna make the a tie shoulder strap dress of Luna's, which was also out of um, this book. Uh, where is it? It's that one there. Yeah, so it's also out of this book. And um, and then I want I like to make um, something matching for my granddaughter. So I'm making I'm using this pattern um, that I already got, but I'm just doing the skirt. So it's just going to be a skirt and then I'll get her a plain T-shirt. Um, so I've cut out for the waistbands and I've cut out the bit for the skirt and I've started doing it and then that will be gathered in like that um, and that'll be a little matching skirt so yeah so busy 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 but um got loads to do and obviously i've uh, got that be happy that we got in um with the mandy shaw stuff to do at some point but i haven't even thought of that yet because i need to get these things done but um yes yeah, so i want to get those done and um Oh, that's the that's the be happy thing. Yeah, so it'd be nice to get that done at some point. But I have I was looking through my stuff and I got so many started unfinished projects that I really need to uh, finish up. Um, oh, before I keep I keep starting these things and I never finish them. So, um, but I'm really pleased with how uh, Luna turned out um, her bed. Um, I've got this little box now. 
So I've got her in there and I'm really pleased how um, her mask turned out and her bed. And I've got the bunt in here there, so the kids can play with her. But uh, so I've got to do another Luna at some point or gift the one I've already made. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's busy, busy, busy. Um, I have other sewing projects that I've been bought patterns for. Um, I was going to have a go at this for myself. And um, I've also got the fringe blouse dress from um, Chalk and Notch, which I downloaded the pattern. I've also got that. I did think of making that out of one of um, the cheesecloth fabric that we got from, I think it's, or double gauze, that we got from uh, Sir Haley Jane. But um, yeah, it's on hold now because I'm making the Luna stuff for the kids. And also, I was, I'll put some pictures up. I was on Instagram and I saw um, th this, uh, God, I can't remember her name, but she's from um, Sewing Bee, a couple of episodes back and uh, she was showing how she can make um, a wardrobe from a wardrobe she had one sort of skirt a black skirt it was and then she'd mix it and make different outfits out of it and I thought oh that's a good idea so um, I went online and I found this pattern for this skirt so I thought I'd make that for myself so I've just got to get some black linen and then make that skirt but what tempted me was this bit here. This one here, it's sort of a lacy one. And I remembered that I had some lacy fabric in here. Can't find it now. But I had some lacy fabric um, in here. If I find it, I'll show you. Um, it's cream and lacy, and I thought I might make that with it. So that's um, a possibility. But uh, so many things to do and not enough time. But on Monday, my husband's going fishing for four days, which means that whereas normally he'd come, when he gets home from work um, about five o'clock, four or five o'clock, we take the dogs for a walk, then um, I do dinner and then we watch telly together. I will be free, apart from, I'll have to take the dogs for a walk obviously, but no evening telly, I can get on and do all my, I can just live in the craft room. Um, for, for sort of day and night and get on top of all these crafts because um, I've, so I've got like a little I've got loads of knitting and crocheting as well which I show on my other um, other weekly vlog but I've got so much to catch up on I might start adding the crocheting and knitting to this once a week thing rather than doing separate ones I'll see but um, but yeah so so many bits and pieces to finish um, so I'm hoping to have lots of finished items. Um, I've had a request also. My grandson, who I made the... Um, I don't know if you saw uh, from my crocheting vlog. I made the um, clanger for... Um, the small clanger. He's now requested a tiny. So um, I've got to make that for him. So, uh, yeah, so lots to do. But I've got next week, till Monday to Thursday, of just crafting. So hopefully I'll get lots done. But um, yeah, so I think that's it for this week and um, I'll say bye for now and I'll see you next week. Bye.